Well, we're in the thick of spring allergy season, which means that many are suffering from seasonal allergies. Did you know that 66 million Americans suffer from eye allergies and have trouble finding relief from their eye allergy itch? Whether they are indoors or outside, Dr. Ashley Brissett is here to tell us some more of those details and how we can get some relief from it. Good morning to you, Ashley. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so we know that uh, all of the allergy Good season morning. is starting earlier and earlier. Uh, what are some of the common symptoms that you're seeing in your patients? Yeah, you're totally right. You know, we used to think about allergy season as being just a short season, but it is starting earlier and it's even lasting longer. So I've had so many patients come in to see me. This year especially seems to be a really bad year. And what they'll complain about is the coughing, the sneezing, the runny nose, um, but also specifically related to the eyes, that itchiness and that irritation and that redness around their eyes. Yeah, what are some of the main allergens that are causing those with eye allergies to experience those symptoms? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things that can contribute, both that are found outdoors and indoors that can cause those irritated, itchy, red eyes. So the most common things outside are often when plants start to bloom. So that's like tree pollens that get released into the air, um, even ragweed, grass. And then when you're inside, it can be things like dust or pet dander. And this can kind of happen nationwide and at different times of the year as well. So you might be traveling and then start to experience itchy red eyes. And that could be because it's a new environment with different pollen or different pet danders that you're exposed to. And it happens to a lot of us. Is there anything that uh, eye sufferers can uh, do to prevent that allergy itch? And if not, how can you know those sufferers relieve their symptoms? Yeah, so there's a few different strategies that I recommend to my patients. So first and foremost, I really recommend and washing and cleansing around your eyelids and lashes every day. And that's because as we go about our daily environment, we come into contact with this pollen that's in the air, debris, and it loves to build up and stay on the eyelids and lashes. And then that can just sit there and cause that irritation. So that's why it's so important to be cleansing and washing around your eyes to get rid of that pollen that's built up during the day. And if you wear eye makeup as well, make sure you're taking the makeup off every night before bed. The last thing you want is those makeup particles to migrate and get into the eye because that can also cause a lot of irritation and itch. And then again, it's really important to start to think about finding the right tool for the job so that you're specifically treating your eye symptoms by using an anti-allergy eye drop, one that's specifically used for itch. So what I recommend to my patients is to use a drop called Pataday Once Daily Relief Extra Strength. And it's actually the number one doctor recommended brand. And I used to prescribe it all the time to my patients, but now it can be found over the counter, which is great. So it's really easy for my patients to access. And I'm glad you talked about that because of course there are dozens of over the counter allergy relief options. Uh, are there some other things that people need to take into consideration when they're choosing uh, those items to use? Yeah, it can be so overwhelming. If you go to the allergy shelf, you know, in your local pharmacy, there can be so many different drops available. So one thing that I think is important to choose is one that can be really effective and safe. And that's why I like Pataday because it's one drop just once a day and you get fast, but 24 hour relief. So you only have to be using it once a day and it's extremely effective. Perfect. Where can people go, uh, those eye allergy sufferers, for more information about some of the things you talked about today? Yeah, so a great resource online is www.padaday.com and I'll have lots of information about the Padaday drop, about eye allergy and itch and, and things that you can do to help. And then again, you can find this uh, eye drop just at any online kind of nationwide store or any um, local retailer as well. Great information, Dr. Ashley Brissett. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.